Hello, my name is Josh Stevens, Head Geek and VP of Technology here at SolarWinds. Today I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the Orion Network Performance Monitor. Orion is a great application for monitoring your networks, servers, applications, and really all of your IT infrastructure. Now the best way to get to know Orion is to download a copy for yourself from SolarWinds.com and try it out. You can have it downloaded, installed, running, and monitoring your own network infrastructure in under an hour. But let's go ahead and take a look now at the product and I'll highlight some of the tool features and I'll specifically point out those features that are new in the latest version that you'll want to check out as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Now when it comes to Orion, one of the first things you'll notice is the all nodes tree at the top left. And the important thing to remember here is whether you have Cisco routers, switches and firewalls, Aruba wireless devices, Dell switches, devices from HP, Extreme, or even Juniper, or whether you want to monitor servers, Microsoft Windows servers, Linux servers, or virtual servers within VMware, Orion monitors all these things right out of the box and dynamically discovers them to make it very easy to tell what needs to be managed and to monitor that within Orion. Now Orion's automated discovery will run every night and allow you to see what new devices have been added and you can bring them in for management. When new devices have been detected, you'll see right at the top that new devices were found. You can go view those results and then import those devices into Orion for management. As you view Orion, one of the things you want to keep in mind is that Orion provides a lot of fault management data. That means it provides maps to show you at a glance where you have issues and does alerting. Now the alerting makes it really easy to receive a text message uh, on your phone or email message or even open a remedy ticket when Orion has detected a problem out on the network. And the alert engine makes it very easy to configure these alerts and even to build things like alert suppression and dependencies so you can, you can really minimize the number of alerts you receive based upon certain types of network outages. Now when it comes back to these network maps, again, this is an easy way for you to stay up to date with the network at a glance. A lot of people will use these in a network operations center on a very large screen, so at a glance you can tell where you have network issues and how it affects the performance of the network and any topological changes you might see. One of the cool things about this latest version of Orion are the features around the Connect Now Network Atlas. Network Atlas is a tool you would use to create maps of your network. I'm going to just drag and drop some devices uh, from my node tree over on the network atlas. Go ahead and drag them over there. And once I've done that, I can start to reposition them. I can change the icons. I can make them look like the router switches and firewalls they are, or really any of those things. The other thing I could do is I could go ahead and just grab these and say connect now. Now what this does is it allows Orion to use the data it's already discovered about the way these devices are connected. Orion will discover both layer 2 and layer 3 connections between the devices you're managing and if you want it to with a connect now feature will map that out for you and show you how they're connected. This makes it very easy to build topology maps and of course to define those alert dependencies later. Now once you've done that those maps can be displayed right here within Orion and of course you can just drill down to the specific maps you have problems with when you see something yellow or red and tell exactly where the issue is. One of the other cool things about Orion are the top 10 lists. Now the top 10 lists are just one of the daily dashboards Orion ships with. The reason I like the top 10 list is it shows me at a glance where I have issues on the network. For instance, if I have issues with WAN utilization, I can tell right away this is where the top 10 interfaces are by WAN utilization. And of course, just click on the one I'm interested in and drill down. Pretty much everything in the Orion interface is clickable or hot, which means you can always drill down for more and more information if the information you see is something that is of relevance and that you're interested in. Now Orion also provides data on CPU load for your servers, on WAN utilization again for your, for your WAN links as well as on the LAN side. We do packet loss, memory used, errors and discards. You know really there's a lot of information you can sort out here and of course this is all configurable and customizable by you the user. I happen to like to look at for instance MOS store some of my WAN circuits uh, where I have voice over IP trafficking but it's really up to you and what you'd like to see. Orion also includes both syslog, traps, and event handling, so you can actually see right within the interface uh, what types of events are happening on the network. Those are very scalable, uh, high-performing engines that can send you know, several thousand messages per second into the syslog server, for instance, and of course have it do alerting or send you an email message or open a ticket based upon certain types of messages being received. Orion also includes a very easy-to-use report writer tool that allows you to build and customize the reports Orion ships with out of the box. Now Orion uses a Microsoft SQL Server database, so it's very easy to create your own reports right there out of the database. But if you don't want to do that, Orion includes several hundred canned reports right here in the interface. And of course the report writer tool that makes it easy to drag and drop and create your own reports right within Orion. 
Orion also includes the ability to monitor wireless uh, devices, both the wireless switches, uh, the remote radios, and the smart access points right there within the interface uh, as a part of the main application because we believe in managing both wired and wireless networks uh, together within one interface. Now Orion also has modules, which means it's a way for you to extend the application into new monitoring areas. So while Orion NPM is primarily focused on the infrastructure side, the network devices like router switches, firewalls, and those servers, if you want to monitor applications, for instance, you would buy the Application Performance Monitor module. And that module allows you to get more granular data around performance of applications and their availability. Likewise, we have modules around IP address management, uh, IPSLA for WAN performance, and of course NetFlow for traffic analysis. There's also a module or an application for doing configuration management called the Orion Network Configuration Manager that you'll want to check out. Once again, this has been Josh Stevens, the head geek here at SolarWinds. Today we're talking about the Orion Network Performance Monitor, some of the cool new features of the application, uh, this latest version, and also really just the fact that as a default performance management application, Orion is really a, a great thing you should download for yourself free again from SolarWinds.com to try out, have it up and running, configured, and monitoring your own network in under an hour. Thanks a lot and have a great day.